Well, hello again, everyone. It looks like a teardown day today. I've kind of been interested in what is inside this Milwaukee M12 charger. Is it complicated or is it simple? Well, I guess I'm going to take it apart to find out. Stand by. Well, this takes one of those weird uh, Torx bits with the uh, hole in the center of it. Lucky I've got a security Torx set. It's a T10H, I believe it's called. Go ahead and start taking this baby apart. You can do a little prying on this thing. Comes apart easier than I thought. Looks like a fairly clean construction, but also looks like the type of construction made in China. Well, the date code says February 23 of 09. I just bought that this year, so they've probably got a lot of stock of these boards left. And of course their controller is uh, blacked out, so you can't see what it is. I'm going to try and see what it is anyway. Well, I took the chip under the microscope and it looks like an AT Mega 48. So not a uh, big time processor, but it's a little AT Mega chip in there controlling all of the stuff. One thing that's a little strange is this aluminum disc. I have no idea what that would be for. It goes directly under that section there of the board. It's obviously not a heat sink to anything. It's, if anybody knows what that is, go ahead and leave a comment in the uh, comment section. And they've got the anti-theft piece in there. And we got the AC coming in here through some filtering. You got the AC to DC conversion happening there. You got a full bridge going into here and it looks like they're chopping up the DC there going through a another transformer it's a step down converter obviously We've got some separation there from the high voltage to low voltage and then the DC is more than likely being controlled by the microcontroller for the charge time and charge voltage going into this into the battery must be temperature controls in the battery I haven't actually taken one of these batteries apart yet I'm gonna try and find a bad one so I don't wreck my good one since they're about 35 to 50 dollars each depending where you get them and we've got the LEDs to let you know when it's done charging Looks like the driver for the charger here, yeah, it's, the red wire goes directly to there, so that's controlling the charger, a little MOSFET there. Looks like it's a pretty straightforward circuitry. I'm not going to reverse engineer it. It's going to take way too long for this video, and I'm sure nobody really cares all that much. It's just a charger. Not all that interesting, but... Just a short little teardown video anyway. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.